there guys and guyesses, welcome back to my channel The Tarative and thank you for stopping by. So as you'll probably be able to tell from the title and the thumbnail, this video is going to be all about the piercings that I'd love to have but won't be getting. So I will discuss the piercings that I'd love to have and the jewellery that I'd like to wear in them, but the reasons also why I won't be getting those piercings. So I am going to split them into two categories. Firstly, I will be talking about facial piercings and then I'll be talking about the other body piercings that I want to get. So let's just get straight into it. So the first piercing that I'd love to have is a Medusa piercing. Now if I were to get a Medusa piercing, I would actually either get two Medusa piercings, so one on top of the other, or I would have a stretch Medusa piercing. Now if I did have two separate Medusa piercings, then I would want to wear just 1.6mm librette bars in them, but I would like the bottom one to have a larger ball, so probably a 4mm ball, and then in the top one I'd probably wear a 3mm ball. Now if I were to have a stretch Medusa piercing, I would most likely wear glass or stone jewelry, and actually one of the main reasons for wanting a stretch medusa piercing is the fact that I just love absolutely love stone and glass jewelry and especially the jewelry that you can get for medusa piercings so that's one of the main reasons why I'd love to have a stretched one now the reason why I won't be getting two medusa piercings is the fact that actually my body isn't really suited to it I have quite a short upper lip so the space between kind of the cupid's bow area and then the bottom part of my septum it's quite short so in reality I'd only really be able to fit one there and the reason for that is because underneath or on the inside of my lip because it is quite short where the smiley is which is that piece of webbing that connects the top lip to the gum even though it's not a big smiley it does get in the way of where a second piercing would most likely be placed and therefore in reality I'd only be able to get one Medusa piercing which I do like one but if I were to get a Medusa piercing I'd want two. Now the reason for not having a stretch Medusa piercing is mainly because after stretching it if I ever did decide to get rid of it there would be a more visible scar left there also as well because of the jewellery on the inside it would rub against my gums most likely and therefore cause gum erosion which I wouldn't want so they're the main reasons why I wouldn't get either of those types of medusa piercings and one of the other reasons as well for not getting either of those two types of medusa piercings is the fact that I've got my septum stretched now that might seem a little bit irrelevant what does a stretched septum have to do with your medusa well at the moment you can't see that I've got my septum stretched because I'm wearing a tunnel in it but every now and again I do like to wear rings in it and the rings are quite thick and the diameter's not as small as I'd like them to be but either way it does actually cover this part of my lip so if I were to get a Medusa piercing either just two normal sized Medusa piercings or a stretch Medusa piercing when I decide to wear my septum piercing down then it would actually cover the Medusa piercing so to me I just wouldn't want that. I think it would irritate me if I wanted to have my septum piercing on show and it knock against the jewellery. I think it would just be a little bit irritating to me. So that's the reason why I won't be getting a Medusa piercing. So the second piercing that I'd absolutely love to have is a central labret piercing, so one that sits about there. And again, if I were to have a central labret piercing, like if I had a Medusa piercing, I would want to stretch it. And I would want to stretch it relatively large so that I could wear some really nice big oval stone or oval glass jewellery in it. Now I absolutely, absolutely love this look on other people. I don't think I've met anyone in reality with it, but I've seen so many pictures online and I think it suits everybody that I've seen it on and I would just absolutely love to have it. So so why will I not be getting it? Well, because it is going to be a rather stretched or large stretch piercing. If I ever did want to remove it, I would have to have it sewn up. Now, I do have a stretch lobe piercing and I love having a stretch lobe piercing and it doesn't really bother me if I did ever need to take it out for any reason because it would shrink down considerably and I could always get it sewn up, but I think it would be a little bit more hideable the fact that it had been stretched. Whereas with the labret piercing, because it is on your face and it is in a central location to your face, I think it would be very noticeable. Even after years of healing a scar, I still think it'd be noticeable that you had it there. And for me, if I were one to get rid of a piercing and not have it I wouldn't really want to have a scar so noticeable so that's one of the main reasons also again like with a Medusa piercing I would be worried about gum erosion and if I were to have the piercing if I ever needed to remove it for whatever reason it's going to be very hard to disguise the fact that you have a nice big stretched hole in the center of your face whereas at least with my tongue piercing and septum piercing they're easily hideable even if I don't have jewelry in it people can't really tell that they're there so they're the reasons why I wouldn't get a central labret piercing 
The next piercing that I'd want to have is actually a surface piercing and it would be a vertical piercing in the centre of my forehead. Now I love this look and I love just single ones that are done with microdermals but I personally would want a surface bar with flat discs on and I would probably want to have a larger disc on one of them or the other. I'd probably want a larger disc on the bottom one and a smaller disc on the top one. Now the reasons why I won't be getting them is firstly I don't have much pinchable skin or flesh there to start with so I don't know if it'd really be able to be pierced. Even if it were managed to be able to be pierced, to be honest, it would have such a high rejection rate because the skin is very firm in that area. There's not really much flesh holding it in. I think it would just grow out in a matter of months and therefore I would either have to get it re-pierced again, but then you'd have the problem of scar tissue. I wouldn't want to have to keep getting it re-pierced. And also if it were to grow out completely, then again, I would have a nice big scar in the center of my forehead, which wouldn't be as easily hideable as if I had scars from surface piercings on other places of my body. So they're the reasons why I won't be getting a vertical surface piercing in the center of my forehead. And the last set of facial piercings that I would love to have are cheek piercings. I love, love, love cheek piercings. I've seen them on so many people online. I've seen them on a couple of people in real life as well and I just think they look awesome and I've seriously contemplated getting them quite a few times over these last couple of years but each time I've come to the conclusion that I won't get them and so I will just share the reasons why I haven't got them in the past and why I won't be getting them in the future. The main reason is the healing period on them. Cheek piercings can take years and years and years and years to heal and sometimes they don't even fully settle down properly. Within that healing period they do have a tendency of flaring up quite often and they're very temperamental and I just think because they are on your face if they are flaring up and giving you such trouble that's quite a huge commitment and it's just something that I probably wouldn't want to get myself into especially if there was a possibility that they potentially wouldn't heal at all. Now the reasons why they tend to not heal very well are because firstly they are quite thick pieces of flesh. Your cheeks are quite thick in comparison to your lips so not only do you have quite thick skin but also when you are moving or talking so as you can see as I'm talking now as I place my fingers on my skin you can see that my fingers will be moved slightly and that is because it's such a high movement area and with piercings if they are in a high movement area they don't really have a proper rest period and so even if they are settling down as you're moving the jewelry can constantly irritate the whole and therefore it can flare up and just take ages to settle down again. So that's the main reason. Also, another big reason is the fact that I probably wouldn't trust anyone to actually pierce them. In that area of your cheeks, you do have saliva glands, and I think, I'm assuming there are some nerves as well, but even if there aren't nerves to play with, then there are saliva glands. And if you were to pierce a saliva gland, that generally means that that piercing hole won't properly heal, and you do have the problem when you're talking, or just in general when you're resting, of the jewellery irritating that saliva gland and therefore it will produce drool and saliva which will leak from the piercing which definitely is not something you really want to go around having a leaky piercing so yeah I just don't think I would trust anyone to actually pierce it. Also as well they do lead or they can lead more often than not to permanent dimples even after removing the jewellery. Now I don't actually want to have dimples I just love the piercings for the piercings themselves rather than the fact that create dimples whereas a lot of people get them because they do create permanent dimples so actually I wouldn't want dimples and therefore if I did ever decide to remove it I would probably get sick of seeing dimples in my face especially because it's just not something I want on my own body I think they look really nice and cute on other people but it's just not something that I'd want to have on my face and therefore that's another main reason for not getting them. But if I were to get them, I think I would get them pierced slightly larger than the normal 1.6 millimeter thickness because with the 1.6 millimeter thickness, generally that's fine for most body areas, but you will find as you do talk, as you do move, often you get a cheese wire effect, which I know sounds lovely, but then it can build up quite a lot of scar tissue around the piercing holes. So I think if I were to get them done, I'd get them pierced at two millimeters or 2.4 millimeters. But yeah, they're the reasons why I will not be getting cheek piercings. So that brings us swiftly on to the body piercings and the first body piercing that I'd love to get are back dimples. And I would want to get microdermals in those back dimples. Now you might be a bit confused what I mean by back dimples, but where jeans normally lie around your hips, just above there, often you'll have a slightly concave part to either side. Now some people do and some people don't, and a lot of times it's just not particularly noticeable, but I do have them when I stand up, even though they're not really deep, but I think it would look really cool to have back dimples or in those back dimples to have microdermals in there and it's something that I have seriously contemplated. I have had microdermals in the past and I have had them on my collarbone area 
sort of either side and when I got those pierced I had the intention of getting those done seeing how they healed and then getting my back dimples done if they healed nicely now actually they did heal quite nicely to start with but I think it must have been after about six months or so one of them got irritated and wanted to start reject rejecting and rather than letting it reject completely I did get it removed and the other side then a month or so later did exactly the same thing I think this side I caught and this side it was because I'd got stung next to it anyway I do have another video about my retired piercing so I'll leave the link in the description box below and that explains a bit better what happened to those but because those never settled in it does put me off microdermals in the future especially on areas that don't have that much pinchable flesh and I think my back dimples there's not actually that much room in the dimples themselves or that much pinchable skin so I would be worried about rejection also as well because they are on the back I would be worried about catching them with the other piercings I have I am really really careful especially with microdermals and surface piercings not to catch them but I think I would forget about the ones on my back since I wouldn't be able to see them on a regular basis and I think they'd get caught a lot which would cause irritation and probably would lead to rejection as well so they're the reasons why I won't be getting back dimples the next set of body piercings I like to get are navel piercings and I know that is such a simple one to get and lots of people will have them but ideally I would either like just the lower part so not the top part of your navel but the lower part of the navel pierced or I would like to have both the top and the bottom and I would probably wear quite simple jewellery in it I would most likely just wear plain titanium curved barbells in them I think they look really really nice and the reason why I won't be getting them is because at the moment I just have my nipples pierced and I have a surface piercing around my stomach slash hip area. Now, with those piercings, my nipple piercings are pierced like that, so diagonally upwards, and then my surface piercing is pierced diagonally downwards, and in my head it creates a kind of frame around my body, and I quite like that simplicity of having mainly skin and then just a few piercings there. And I think if I were to get either one or two piercings, especially because they are central, it would throw off that balance of where the other piercings are, and I think to me they might look a little bit cluttered or a little bit out of place so they're the reasons why I won't be getting navel piercings also in general I would like more surface piercings specifically central down to my body so if I weren't to get navel piercings they are quite central where you would typically have your navel piercing probably an inch or so above there I would quite like to get just a, a surface a vertical surface piercing again with flat discs as if I were to get a vertical one down the center of my forehead I think that would look really good or just below my bra line and again the reason similar Similar to the or the same reason as why I won't be getting navel piercings is the fact that I think it would throw the piercings that I've already got off balance or in, at least in my mind it would throw it off balance and that's why I won't be getting more surface piercings at least on my body area and then the last piercing I would have loved to have and I just realized actually this probably should have been grouped with facial piercings even though it's more of an oral piercing is a tongue piercing and you're probably thinking what are you talking about Tara you do have your tongue pierced yes I do have my tongue pierced but originally when I went in to get my tongue pierced I didn't want just one piercing down the center of my tongue like most people have I wanted what a lot of people call venom piercings which are two piercings sort of either side of the center part of your tongue but when I went to get that pierced and I did have my mind and my heart set on it I was informed that my veins do run down either side where those piercings would be placed instead of having a vein down the middle and I think a lot of people do have veins running either side rather than down the middle but unfortunately it just meant I couldn't get those piercings done so I decided to get one because I thought well I did come here I did have my heart set on getting a piercing or two piercings today so at least if I get one it's better than none so I decided to get that central tongue piercing instead and to be honest I think if I had ended up being able to get my venoms pierced I probably wouldn't have ended up stretching them I really like the look of just the plain 1.6 millimeter titanium barbells in it and I think it looks really cool so veins if you do ever decide to change and move to the center of my tongue in the future I would definitely consider getting venom piercings but yes I know that's not going to happen so I've just got the central tongue piercing which I plan to continue stretching in the future so guys that brings me to the end of the piercings that I'd love to have but won't be getting and to be honest when I say I won't be getting them I can't guarantee that 20 years or 30 years down the line that I won't get those piercings opinions and minds do definitely change over time so the reasons why I might not be getting them now or I can't see myself getting them in the future 
could change. So, who knows, only time will tell, but I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then let me know by leaving this video a thumbs up, and I'd be really interested to know which piercings that you guys would love to have in the future, or alternatively the piercings that you can never see yourself getting. So please let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to read them. Also, any video suggestions are definitely welcome. I'd love to know what you guys would like to see from me over the next couple of weeks or next couple of months, so I'll see what I can do for you guys. One thing I just wanna say before ending this video, I'm sorry if this video was a little bit more choppy or a little bit more edited than the others. I felt that I did stumble or did lose my train of thought a little bit and I didn't want it to be irritating for you guys listening to ha having to listen to ums and ahs quite a bit and therefore it might be a little bit choppy than usual. So I do apologise about that. But if you aren't already and you'd like to be, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll just see you next week. Bye for now.